What's going on YouTube? Justin Fuller here. Today I'm getting out of a 2022 Honda Accord Sport 2.0. And today we're gonna go over tips and tricks on the Honda Accord so that you don't own this thing for a year and go, damn, I didn't even know it could do that. So let's hop on in. All right guys, so this first tip or trick I'm gonna show you is where I can touch the screen and you'll see a dot appear whenever I touch it. Now to do this, we're gonna turn on developer options, which is actually gonna give you access to a whole lot of things. So let me show you where to go to do that. You're gonna wanna go to settings. Now when you go into settings, you're gonna go to system. Now once you're in system, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna hit the about section. Now you'll notice my developer options is already turned on, but I wanna show you how to turn this on so that you can access this. You're gonna go here and then you're gonna scroll down. Now once you get down to your build number, you're gonna start tapping it. Now, as you tap it, eventually you're gonna have to tap it, I believe seven or eight times, and it's gonna start counting down. Now, once you hit that last time, it's gonna say developer options turned on. From there, you can back out. And now you can access this screen. There are a whole lot of different things in here that you can look at related to the developer options that Android Auto, which is what this head unit is based off of, offers. Now, if you wanna be able to turn on what I just did, you are gonna to wanna to scroll all the way down here to show touches. If you tap that show touches button and turn it on, that's what's gonna allow you to then come back to this screen and then see whenever you touch anything or you're dragging around on the screen that dot appear all right guys so if you're anything like me chances are you're getting out of the car you know you're heading into the grocery store into work or wherever you're going and you get halfway in there and you go oh my god i don't know if i locked the doors of the car and then you go into panic mode and you can't focus on what you're doing until you walk back out of the car with your key and you lock it well what if i told you i could set up to where once you get 10 feet from the car with your key it'll automatically lock the doors let me show you how to set that up. All right guys, so let's show you how to set up the walk away auto lock so that when you get 10 feet from the car, it'll automatically lock for you. So you're gonna go to settings. Now, once you're under settings, we wanna scroll down and go to vehicle right here. Now under vehicle, we're gonna look for door and window, which if you scroll down here, it's gonna be the second to last one. Now, once you're on here, you're gonna see a couple different setups here. You wanna scroll to the very bottom, walk away auto lock. The default is for this to be turned off. All you gotta do is turn this off, or excuse me, turn this on. Now, anytime I get 10 feet from the car, I have the key with me, it'll automatically lock the doors for me. All right, so if I know anything, I know that everyone loves a hidden menu. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. There's a couple different hidden menus you can get to uh, that'll give you access to a lot of different things in your car. Maybe you wanna take advantage of them. Maybe you just wanna know that they're there and you can run a lot of diagnostic tests. So let me show you where those are at. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do to get to it. I'm gonna have to push one finger on the source, one on the home and one on the volume and we're gonna hold all three of these. Now you're gonna have to hold them for a couple seconds and then you're gonna see a screen pop up. All right, so now I have the self-diagnostic mode screen and a detailed information screen. Uh, you can obviously jump into both, but I'm gonna jump into this one right here. Now, as you can see through here, I have a whole plethora of different things that I can look through as far as all my different options, smartphone information, all kinds of different things. If I wanna turn off wireless CarPlay or anything like that, I can absolutely do it. But not only do you have this menu, but if you press the home button for about five seconds, it'll actually allow you to jump to a secondary hidden menu where you're gonna have additional options. So now I've got all all these different options in here. Now, one of the coolest ones that I like in here is that there's an audio settings, and you can actually turn this setting off, and this is gonna give you a little bit more of that mid-range sound in your car. So if you're looking for just a little bit more oomph out of it, know that this is something you would turn off to get there. So I'm gonna leave this on since this is, a, you know, this is a car sitting at a dealership, but know that this is there. So I'm gonna back out just so you can see where I was at. I was under the audio settings in that secondary menu. So this tip or trick is gonna relate to this side of the dash when I'm looking at it. So I'm gonna point out a couple things. One, you can see that I have the tachometer, the range, the speed, the audio and that's got I gotta scroll down four times to get to my audio which is probably gonna be my primary use right so I'm gonna show you how to rearrange these and then additionally when I am in something you'll notice that I don't see the tachometer it just disappears if I'm in certain menus unless I'm specifically on the tachometer so I'm gonna show you how to turn that tach tachometer on and keep it on but also I'm gonna show you how to rearrange the order here all right guys so let's show you first how to turn that tachometer to where it stays on so I'm gonna go into my settings now under settings I want to go to vehicle again now once I'm under vehicle I'm gonna go to a meter set now, once I'm in meter setup, I can scroll all the way down here and you're gonna see tachometer. If I turn this function on and save it, now whenever I'm scrolling through and I select something, it's gonna leave that tachometer on so that I can always see it. Now, the secondary portion of this is I wanna rearrange all of those different options that we saw over here as far as, you know, hey, what shows up first? My audio, my tachometer, my speed, my traffic signs, whatever that may be. So if I go into settings here, I'm gonna be able to go into system this time. Now, under system, I wanna go to configure instrument panel now once I'm under that I'm gonna be able to select these and start moving around so I'm gonna select reorder right so what I'm gonna want to do right and it's giving me kind of a, a, a tip on how to do this is I could select it right now once I've selected it I want to drag this all the way to the top because I'm gonna use my audio probably most of all right and then secondarily I'm probably gonna use my phone so I'm gonna slide that under it as well, and then I'll have my tachometer. Once I'm done, I'm just gonna hit done, and it'll save those features in the place I want. 
Now that I have these saved, you can see that the order that I saved them in with my audio and then my phone and then my tachometer have all now changed so that it's one tap to get to my audio and a little bit easier to work through. All right guys, so here's a couple quick tips and tricks related to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay inside of your vehicle. So I've connected on my car and there's a couple things you'll see first off. Is that one, I've changed the background. Very easy to do. All you've got to do is scroll down to your settings. If you want to play with that, you can scroll down a little bit further and you're going to see choose wallpaper. Now from here, you could choose whatever you want, right? Just select what you want, find what you like, and then of course, just back out of the screen and now you'll have it on. Um, so you can see there it lives. Now the secondary thing you're going to see is one, I have an actual sitting here so I can touch this and it'll automatically pull up and start to provide me with directions uh, to my home right so boom it pulls up and immediately starts traffic. going so kind of nice that I have that available to me and the other thing is hey if I want to add somebody that I constantly am talking to how nice is it to be able to just touch it and it'll automatically call for them well I want to show you how to set that up so the first thing you want to do is just hold anywhere on the screen right and you're gonna see app launcher customization has launched now once you get to that there's a couple things you could do on your phone the first is hey if I want to change the order of where things are, right? I could move some stuff around. So for the sake of this right now, you can see that I've got Google Maps, Honda, Justin, and then the map. So I'm gonna move a couple of these around. Now for them to take place, I'd have to unplug and then I'll have to re-plug in. Now, after I've plugged in, it'll launch again and then I'll be able to access uh, and you'll see where it's changed those. So now I'm gonna jump back into that screen and you'll see now once it's moved this out of the way uh, that I've moved a couple of these around. So very easy to do as far as organization. But the secondary part is this is, hey, what if I wanna add one of those contacts to call? Well, on your launcher, if you hit add shortcut, it's gonna prompt you to say, call a contact or add an assistant action. So if I selected call a contact, I could come in here, find somebody that I want and then add them to the screen, right? Secondarily, I could do that other option of add an assistant option. Now from here, I just have to type what that command is and what I want it to launch, right? So if it's directions to work, and then I would say, hey, I wanna use Waze, or I wanna use Google Maps or Apple Maps, I would select that. Now from there, you can test the command to make sure it works and then create the shortcut. Once you've done so, it'll now live on your screen. All right guys, so I live in Austin where the weather is typically nice the majority of the time. But if you live somewhere where it's not, when you run out to the car, typically you'll grab the door handle and it'll only unlock this one door. So what does that mean? It means that your passengers and your wife or whoever is on the other side of this car can't get in until you get in and unlock the doors. Well, what if you could set it up to where the minute you touch it, it unlocks all the doors. Let me show you how to do that. All right guys, so let's show you how to set up to where when you touch your door, it'll open all of the other doors so that your passengers get in in case there's bad weather. So I'm going to go into settings. Now, once I'm under settings, uh, I'm gonna go all the way down to vehicle. Now under vehicle, I wanna go to keyless access setup. Now from keyless access setup, once I've selected that, I'm gonna have some options here. I wanna go to door unlock mode. So right now it's set to the driver's door only when I touch that door handle. Now if I go to all doors, now once I touch the driver's side door, it'll unlock all the doors, make it to where all my passengers could get in quickly. You ever run out of gas? It happens, I've done it, done it a couple times. First time I did it, felt like a big idiot. Well, if you do run out of gas on the Accord, there's something you should know. Now on here, you're gonna notice there's no like cap, right? So there's a valve that holds this close. So if you ran out of gas and you needed to be able to pour something into it, you need a way to hold this open while you pour it. Well, what you might not know that is you come around to your trunk, there's actually a funnel in here specifically for that. So one, if you didn't know you had a spare, one, your spare lives under here along with your jack and accessories. But wouldn't you know it, there's a funnel living right here that you can use to hold that valve open so that you can pour gas into your car. Now even one step further related to your gas, what happens if your gas cap gets stuck, right? If the little door over there gets stuck, how do I pop that open, right? Because it's connected to my door locks. Well, if you come into the trunk and you pull down the carpet back here, there's actually a wire right here. If you pull that wire, it'll help pull that and pop it open. So that if it is stuck, now it'll pop open. All right guys, so if you ever come out to your car and you're hitting buttons and nothing's working and you try to crank it up and you realize, the car is dead, right? So when the car is dead, what does that mean? It means, well, the battery's dead, so I can no longer use any of these to get inside of the doors, right? So I'm gonna have to be able to get in this, but even one step further, what if I have stuff in the trunk that I need to access, right? What if I put my laptop in there because I was worried about it? Well, the first thing I wanna show you is that you have a key in here that you're gonna need. So if I slide this little clip that you see on the back, it's gonna allow me to access this key that lives inside your fob. Now from here, I would be able to use that to get inside my door, right? So now I've got inside of one door. Now once I get inside this door, right, obviously these aren't gonna work because my battery's dead. I'm gonna have to reach through here to get to that back door to unlock it. Now once I've done that, now I'm in two doors, okay? Now if I need to get my trunk back there, there's a way to do so from right here. So there is a panel up here that you can pop open. So let me get up in here and I'll show you what you're gonna do. You're gonna use that same key for that panel. There's a little hole you can slide it in and you're just gonna pop it open. Now once you pop that panel open, you're gonna see a spot to plug your key into. If I put my key in there and I turn it, what just happened? 
I just pop my trunk open. So now if I have any belongings in there, the battery dies, I can get them out. So you ever ride with that person so that when they stop the car and we're about to get out, they gotta fumble with all their stuff and get their bag and grab all their things. And in the meantime, because they haven't like opened their door, it doesn't unlock the rest of the door. So all of us are kind of playing with doors, trying to figure out how to get out of the car. That's kind of annoying. Well, what if I told you you could change that inside the Accord, right? Let me show you how to do that. Under settings, all you're gonna have to do is you're gonna wanna go down to vehicle. Now, once I'm under vehicle, I wanna go to door and window setup. Now, once I'm under door and window setup, I wanna go to auto door unlock. Once I'm under that, I can change this. I've got a few different options here. Right now, it's set up to where when I open the driver's side door, it then unlocks the remaining doors. Well, I can change it to when I shift to park, which is kind of nice, because that means mini shift to park, everybody can get out, the car could still be on, and we can kind of get moving along. Or I can set it to where when you turn the ignition off, it turns and then unlocks all the doors. So a lot of different options you have to take advantage of in case you happen to ride with that person who seems to take a while to get out of the car and unlock the doors for everyone else. All right guys, so this next tip or trick works for any of my friends that happen to have Sirius XM in their car, right? So if you have this and what you find here is you're, you're gonna be driving around or doing something while you really wanted to listen to a game, whether it's your favorite football team, baseball team, basketball team, whatever it is, how nice would it be able to get like scoring alerts, right? They kind of come over the top and let you know whenever your team scores. I mean, yeah, you could get them from your phone, but why not be able to get them on the dash too, right? Now, once I'm in Sirius XM, I wanna go to the settings button right here. Now under settings, there's a sports notification setup that you can do. Now from there, you're gonna wanna select your favorite team. So for the sake of this, you know, I'm out here, I'd say, hey, you know, let me pick a team that I want to add. So I'd come through here, and since I'm, you know, I'm a Spurs fan, you know, I'd scroll all the way down here and I'd find my team, right? So San Antonio Spurs, boom, select them. I've now added them, right? So pretty sweet. Now I want to set up the notifications. Once I've done that, I can set up my game notifications, right? I want to turn these on uh, so I'll know when they're playing. And then of course, I want Sports Flash notifications too. I want to turn that on. So whenever, whenever something big happens, I'll know about it, right? And then if I had multiple teams here, I would select which teams I want that to land for, right? Once I've got that set up, I'm good to go. And now I'll get notifications on my favorite teams. All right, guys, we did it. We made it through the 2022 Honda Accord tips and tricks videos. So if you are interested in other videos like this, know that at the end, I'm going to throw up a bunch of videos uh, that you could check out. I have got several tips and tricks videos and then just review videos, right? If you want to see a car review uh, as it compares to other vehicles out there in the market, know that that's pretty much what I do on this channel. Uh, other than that, a couple favors to ask you for. One, I hope that you'll like the video so it'll push it up that algorithm so that more people will see it. And then secondarily, leave a comment, man. If there's a tip or trick that you think I missed or you have a question about one, drop a comment in there. Let me know what you think, man. Uh, outside of that, I hope that you'll, of course, subscribe to the channel. While I'm mentioning that, know that I have a couple channels. I'll actually throw up something on the screen so you can see. Um, I've got Fuller Life, which goes over some uh, some Jeep review stuff if you're into Jeeps. Uh, and then secondarily, I have my Honda one that you're on currently right now. Uh, outside of that, I hope that you'll share the video, man. If you find yourself living in a, you know, a forum or if you happen to be on a Facebook group and uh, you think this would benefit others, I hope that you'll share that video with others so that they can watch it and check it out. Because uh, I think I do a pretty good job as far as uh, the way I present. Other than that, I appreciate you for tuning in, checking it out. And uh, I hope you'll like, subscribe, comment, all the things. And I'll talk to you later. Later, guys.